Tattoo artists of Reddit. What's the worst tattoo you've tried to talk someone out of, but they insisted you'd give it to them anyways? The guy I apprenticed under had a guy come in and want frick and be going across each eyebrow. After 20 minutes of trying to talk him out of it, the guy insisted and my boss did it. He said the guy was gonna get it done, and he would at least do a nicer job than the other shops in the area. I, on the hand, got to deal with a woman who was giving parental consent to let her 13 year old son get a spider web on his neck. Legally it was allowed in that state but Jesus Christ woman, go home and talk to your freaking kid. No one tattooed him, but she was adamant that he wanted it and we were gonna go out of business for denying paying customers. Lastly, a woman wanted her name, her fiancé's name, their zodiac signs, and the words, true love at last, halfway into the tattoo. I ask when they are getting married and she says she doesn't know, because he's in jail, trying to be conversational. I ask what he's in jail for. She says she doesn't know and he won't tell her. It was too late to talk her out of the tattoo. But good freaking luck with that relationship. I had a girl come in wanting to fix the word promise that was on the outside of her pinky. Tattoos on the side of fingers don't hold well generally at all. And outside of the pinky is probably the one that holds the worst. She had already had it done twice. Once at another reputable shop and then again at a fly by night. I told her what to expect if we did it. And that if we did it and the tattoo turned out the same way. Fallen out. A third time. She could not come in and be mad at me. She agreed. And I tattooed her. Two weeks later she comes back. And lo and behold exactly what I said would happen. Exactly what had happened twice before. Had happened. A little less this time. Mostly around the knuckle bends. And guess what? She was mad. Listen to your tattooer. If they are actively trying to talk you out of giving them money, there's a freaking reason. If someone would talk me out of a thing that makes him get money, freaking listen to the guy. He is denying money so that you could not regret something your whole life. Jesus Christ people. I stopped tattooing years ago, but one of the last ones was just above this guy's dong. He wanted Lisa's written above, and sort of arched over his penis. He also wanted the dot on the eye to be a yin yang. Midway through the tattoo I find out he's not even dating this girl and he thought he'd get it as some kind of surprise or something. Take this from me. No matter how much you like him her and how stable happy long your relationship has been. Do not get any living person's name on your body or portrait unless you're feeling ironic. I'm not a tattoo artist or haver yet. But I always heard that the only living people's names you should get tattooed are your parents or your kids. Not an artist. But when I got my first tattoo I asked my artist what was the worst tattoo he has ever done. He said a guy came in and got four mermen circle jerking each other on his lower back. Not the artist and all that. One time my mom told me her and my dad were getting divorced. About 6 months later they changed their minds and got matching wrist tattoos with each other's names on them. When they first showed me they looked so excited and I was just like holy crap you guys are idiots. I thought I raised you better. Growing up, they both lectured me over and over about how stupid it was to get a living person's name tattooed on you. And then this. They were divorced within a year. I was asked to tattoo a poem written in his girlfriend's handwriting. I debated that while her handwriting was pretty enough it wasn't, that it would look off as a tattoo. Just to make it better I actually knew this guy, and that he has problems with all his exes, as he feels like he can't be in the same room as them because he puts them to fault for ruining everything, every time. So I knew he'd end up regretting it, especially since he'd only been with this girl a month or so. He claimed that he wanted the tattoo, and I went well, then find someone else to make it, because I'm not going to do it, because I fear you'll regret it and blame me. He took that surprisingly well. Not a tattoo artist, but I knew a guy while in the air force that lost her bet. I forget the particulars, but basically he wagered that he would get a dong and balls tattooed on his chest with I love Arkansas under it. When I first heard about it, I figured it was balls, but there it was. 6 inches longs with furry nuts and big red letters. Why he didn't just take the heat for not getting it, I'll never know. It's not like anyone wouldn't understand. Eventually, he tried to get it covered up and turned into a cross. A big, veiny cross. But I love Arkansas. I was apprenticing at a hood tattoo shop. 
Walked in a bit late and my artist was tattooing a woman's side, rather big, with the words heart is everything in the Disney script. He had gotten to heart eye when I came in and saw the mistake on the stencil. I told him we needed to go outside to have a smoke. He obviously said he was a bit busy, but I insisted. Once we got outside and he had finished yelling at me for interrupting him, I told him that everything was spelled incorrectly. It turns out she had printed out a piece of paper with those words typed out on it, and my artist had just made a stencil from her printout. Usually we run everything through a spell checker. We went in and he had me explain the issue to the woman. It's common practice to let the apprentice deal with difficult situations. Or maybe they just thought it would be funny. The conversation went like this. So, we haven't tattooed it on you yet, but a word on the stencil is spelled incorrectly. Everything is missing a letter. Nah, it says everything. Yes, but it's E-V-E-R-Y-T-H-I-N-G I said, pulling up the spelling of the word on my phone. She began to get a bit self-righteous. Nah, it's everything. I wanted to say everything. That's how it's spelled. My artist began pleading with her as she got more belligerent. Finally he just decided to let her get it spelled that way. If she thinks her dialect is better than standard spelling, she'll probably always think that. Kind of the opposite of what you asked, but I had an artist refuse to do a simple one on me simply because it wasn't girly enough for his standards. So he redesigned it into a yin yang with flower petals, which is nothing like what I wanted. I told him I was a paying customer and if I wanted a yin yang flower I would have asked for a yin yang flower. He still refused. He was genuinely shocked when I walked out. Not an artist but hang out at a tattoo shop where my friend works sometimes. One day a guy comes in with a photo of a dead fetus. Turns out his wife had a miscarriage and wanted to have it tattooed on his chest. The guys in the shop flat out refused straight away. Except for one guy who likes to take things a bit too far and figured he'll do it. What a lovely permanent reminder for his wife. Every. Dang. Time he takes his shirt off. A girl wanted to get the dark script of Morda from the one ring around her butthole. So it would be like her butthole was the one ring. I didn't talk her out of it cause I wanted to see her butthole. You seem like a pretty straightforward guy. I'm not a tattoo artist, but I have the unfortunate pleasure of knowing a woman who got her vows to the man she was stalking tattooed on her back, along with their names and a date. Neither the man nor his boyfriend were impressed. Not a tattoo artist, but I was at an anarchist human powered carnival party once and they had a mystery tattoo booth set up where you could stick your arm behind the curtain and get yourself a surprise tattoo. The best tattoo I saw come out of there was of a hamburger. The best thing that might come out of there is a case of hepatitis. Not answering up's exact question, but getting one of my tattoos was a memorable experience. I have a variation of the Axis Mundi, a square with a perfect circle inside divided into four parts, so it looks a bit like a reticule in a FPS video game, tattooed on my forearm. It was my first tattoo, so I had no idea how difficult it is to tattoo straight lines and perfect circles. At first, it was just the circle divided into four parts, the four rivers that flow from the tree of life in the center, according to Catholic interpretations of Plato's dialogue. I went back a few weeks later and told him I wanted to put the square around it. Because the circle was already in place, he couldn't use a stencil for the square, so he ended up using a piece of paper curved around my forearm in order to trace the lines of the square. I remember when he finished, he told me his butt was clenched so tight the whole time he could have turned a charcoal briquette into a diamond. He explained why. I tipped him quite generously on top of what he charged me. As I was saying goodbye, he stopped me on the way out. He said, for the record, I was this close to telling you to frick off with your goddamned square, but I had to know if I could do it. I'm gonna put this in my portfolio and if anyone asks me to do another one, I'm gonna tell them to frick off. This is a once in a lifetime for me. Never again. A year later. He did a perfect golden spiral rectangle on my left forearm. When I asked him why he didn't tell me to frick off this time around, he said, because I already knew how still you can sit for an hour. I once gave a girl a tutor that said California, no dashes, in the Coca-Cola font, right across her entire outer thigh. I really was trying to suggest her not to get it because I used so much red ink and it took hours, on top of it being mad dumb. But you gotta represent, I guess. 
I tattooed a black widow on my ex GF's wrist. She was a man eater. Then she died of an overdose. I still wish I had refused to do the ink. Well that was a freaking roller coaster. Not a tattoo artist but worst tattoo I've ever seen was when I was standing outside of a nightclub waiting in line to get in. This guy who's drunk as frick and looks like a tweaker goes up to this guy in line behind me and is like hey bro are you? Look at my new tattoos. He then proceeds to take off his jacket and expose his biceps which have party time on one bicep. And on the other excellent. It was so cringe worthy and it was actually pretty big font too. Die hard Wayne's world fan. I can get down with that. Haha. <laughs> he ended up politely telling the woman to go elsewhere. And is now retired. But this is my absolute favorite story from my tattoo artist. Who specializes in like. Crazy new school and art deco inspired stuff. Just to make this even weirder. She got an email through the form on her website from a woman who wanted Steve. Her husband's name. Tattooed as an arch tramp stamp. In all black. The kicker is that she wanted the letters to be not just letters. But formed by silhouettes of women on stripper poles. The woman managed to track her down on three other social media platforms and sent her the exact same message. Which demonstrates exactly how serious she was about stripper Steve. Turns out, the font actually exists. Source, just googled it. Husband wanted to get a tattoo of my name on his chest. I talked him out of it. We're divorced now. For other reasons. Not because I talked him out of the tattoo. Nice work. Good thing you did otherwise he'd be getting lasered now. I was once in a shop and overheard someone saying they wanted the praying hands holding a rosary in no flex zone and oldie English under it. They knew our better. Not a tattoo artist, but in college I knew a guy who, on impulse, of course, got the letters for his fraternity with a dragon, frat mascot, on his upper back, roughly the size of a softball near the shoulder. It may not sound like the worst. But the dragon was super girly and the design was abstract enough that it was hard to even tell what it was. Plus, the artist added some stars around the dragon without telling this guy. Which just made it jollier. Whenever I'm having a bad day I remind myself, at least you don't have an awful frat tat. Someone once asked me to tattoo Die Bart. Die on his chest. I did it for him after he explained it was actually German for the Bart. The... No one who speaks German could possibly be evil. Not an artist but I was getting a tattoo and asked him this exact question. He told me someone requested a large black rectangle on their back. He seemed pretty adamant on getting it. Not a tattoo artist and I've told this before on here, but it's a good one. While I was getting a tattoo I asked my artist something along the lines of this question. He said he had this guy he had done a couple of pieces on. And one day this guy brings his girlfriend in. The girlfriend wants to get a tattoo saying boyfriend's names play a hole right above her butthole with an arrow pointing down. I asked him if he did it and he sighed and said sadly not. Not a tattoo artist myself, but was a part time apprentice for a year. One day when I was there this girl wanted to get let it be in French I can't remember what the words were exactly. Tattooed in a nice script cursive style on her wrist. I only did basic French at school, but something about her translation didn't look right. Just as the artist was getting ready to get the placement down, I had a look online for the translation she gave and it ended up being as it is or leave it alone or something along those lines. She looked horrified, and ended up just having let it be in English. Not a tattoo artist, but I teach a kickboxing class at an MMA gym. I had a trashy lady and her equally trashy boyfriend show up to my academy because the guy wanted to train UFC. The woman, I crap you not, had a tattoo of a penis on her chest with the words, God's gift to women next to it. Funniest crap I've read all day. Not an artist, but at the shop where I get my work done a guy came in and talked to another artist as I was getting a tattoo. They talked for a few minutes, then the guy left. The conversation looked strange enough that I asked what he wanted. Apparently a week prior he had came in to get two forearm tattoos. One on each forearm so that when he held his arms out. Fists touching. They would spell something. That something was love satan. He wouldn't listen to the artist who didn't want to do the tattoo and so he went through with it. His visit this day was to see the likelihood of getting satan changes to Jesus. Apparently he went to church the weekend past and had an epiphany of sorts. We laughed and laughed, 
Wish it wasn't true but boy is it ever. Not an artist and it's by no means a bad tattoo, but an old friend of mine has an overweight Darth Vader with his gut bursting out of his armor eating a hoagie riding a Segway and the words keep on trucking underneath it all. I think you confuse the word worst and the question with the words totally epic. Not a tattoo artist, but I saw some guy get a tattoo of Bowser from Super Mario 2, with sunglasses, on a surfboard, and he was wailing on a guitar, the tattoo artist was totally on board with it. Sounds like a good design to me. One of my previous tattoo artists decided that it was totally a good decision to go ahead and tattoo my then girlfriend with the design we had been working on for myself, the day before my appointment, so we could match. Don't move. I done a Tataruna girl's bum of a drawing as she brought in, was a steaming crap and under it it said hot crap, was a terrible design so I dickied it up a bit and done the lettering as small as I could so it could be covered easily later. Always remembered it cause she was quite pretty, but as dumb as frick. Some days you make art, and some days you make rent. I was actually getting a tattoo the other day and this girl was already at the desk talking to an artist when I went in for my appointment. I don't know what design it was, but it was something small that she wanted done in yellow ink. The artist was trying to explain that on her olive skin you would hardly be able to see it unless he did an outline or something, but she was adamant that she wanted it in yellow. Anyway he obviously had a slot free because about an hour into getting my tattoo, she comes into the chair kinda across the room from me. After it's done she looks in the mirror and says it's hard to see. Can you make it, like, more yellow me and my artist laughed about it after she left. My boyfriend is a tattoo artist, dagger on a girl's face. He tried to talk her out of it and she insisted if you do not do it that she would go to an amateur artist and get it done there. So he did it. It came out good but she looks like a psycho now. My BF also had a situation where a fat lady insisted on getting stars on her huge nipples. Needless to say, it looked absurd. I personally knew and did an internship with a guy who had his face completely covered in blackout designs. Looked freaking ridiculous. Friend of mine is a tattoo artist and I asked him this question. He said the absolute worst was a woman who wanted this horribly drawn praying mantis on her back. He initially thought it was her kids drawing that meant a lot or something along those lines. Nope. This woman had just drawn an incredibly crappy praying mantis and decided it was so good that it needed to be permanent. According to him, it was about a step above a kid's bad drawing that a parent puts on the fridge. Thankfully, he was able to talk her out of it after showing her much better drawings of praying mantids. Not a tattoo artist, but I got a new tattoo about a week ago. About halfway through, someone walked in to make an appointment with the artist working on my piece. Apparently he made a bet that he lost and had to get an eagle with a banner above it saying make America great again. Didn't realize until my boyfriend told me after we had gotten home and thought it was really funny. Obligatory not a tattoo artist but one of the guys I used to go to school with has the Carlsberg logo on his hand. And not the writing either, the actual three pronged shape. It's in solid black and looks as though as a child has drawn it on. Bloody awful. Still don't know why the tattoo artist didn't at the very least uh, warn him against it, or b, refuse to do it altogether. I guess you get what you pay for, though. Looks as though as a child has drawn it on. Could be a buddy of his as a tattoo machine, or built one, and they got drunk together, or were sober together just being themselves. Not everyone owning one of those things is an actual tattoo artist. One day an old white fellow came into the shop, maybe in his 60s, and approached me at the counter. Without looking at portfolios or introducing himself he said to me I want a bracelet that says old and white I asked him if he was sure about it and why he wanted it. He said, well I want it because I'm old and white and why do these blacks and Mexicans get to be so dang proud and I don't. I'm the only Mexican who works at this tattoo shop and he had to ask me to do it. I reluctantly agree and I get to listen to this dude tell me why it's awesome to be white while I tattoo a well detailed black and grey metal bracelet around his wrist. Quoted him $250. He bitched and I wanted him out of the shop. Gave it to him for $180. No tip. I had a friend in college that was a tattoo artist. He said he always had a hard time with dong daggers, among other crazy things. My stupid teenage friend wanted to get a big rebel flag tattoo on his arm, 
No idea why. Tried to talk him out of it to no avail. A few years later he decides he's joining the marines. And his recruiter explains to him how much fun he's going to have in basic if he happens to land a black drill instructor. So he gets an ugly looking cover up. I think it was a bear or something. That was probably good. Because instead of going into the marines. He went to prison. Basically for being stupid. Not exactly what you are asking. But a friend of mine once saw a guy with the word vegan tattooed across his stomach in giant, bold black letters. He had gained weight since it was done so it had stretched out a bit too. It was in Nevada. Once met a guy from Boston with Tom Brady as my spirit animal tattooed on his forearm. I guess that's cool there. Just really weird to see in Oakland, CA. It sounds pretty useful. He can tell whether he's still in Oakland or has accidentally wandered into Barkley by whether people are giving him crap about liking the wrong sports team or appropriating spirit animals. For our fantasy football league last year, last place was supposed to be punished by dressing up in a turkey costume and getting pelted with paintballs. The guy asked to opt out if he got a turkey tattoo. We voted and agreed on first place getting his hand traced on his back and drawn like a child's turkey handprint with all of our initials on it. He did it. It was a tramp stamp. Not an artist but it seems most posts aren't. Knew a guy in battle school who got infantry on his forearm. Like wrist to elbow. He failed and is not in the army anymore. If he has a son, he could name him Ryan and add a few letters. Better than nothing. A lady came in and wanted the last name of her boyfriend with Mrs. in front of it on her lower back. He was not with her at the time, and only during it did we find out they had only been dating for two weeks. Technically at that point it was too late to talk her out of it. I've always wondered what his reaction was to seeing that the first time. I wasn't the artist, just the receptionist. But this guy came to one of the best black and grey artists in the area and told her he wanted a tribal ram head. All black. That he printed off the internet. She tried to talk him out of it. Because 1. She hated doing tribals and felt that they were an insult to her skill level and 2. Seriously it was so stupid looking and, quote, looked like the Dodge Ram logo. Even designed him this absolutely gorgeous quasi tribal style ram head instead. He insisted that he get the original design. Although finally caved and let her incorporate a little bit of her design into it as well. Still looked stupid as crap. Bonus to, to that I wish someone had talked my dad out of a ragged American flag to symbolize the sorry state of this country today. All things considered it's pretty well done. Except for the part where it's half finished because the shop he went to went out of business with no warning. Due to tax evasion if I recall correctly. And so it's only half finished. He hasn't bothered to find another shop to finish it because he's pissy about the fact that he paid full price up front for a half finished tat and the artist didn't bother trying to contact him. So now he's saying that he'll get it finished when America is America again. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.